How's it going guys? Panther Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 4 of What If. This episode is titled, What If Doctor Strange Lost His Heart Instead of His Hands? Interesting. Now last episode we basically got a murder mystery with the Avengers being killed. Who was killing the Avengers? We were following Nick Fury and kind of Agent Coulson a little bit and Black Widow through the investigation of who's killing the Avengers. Um, we lost Bruce, we lost Iron Man, we lost Hawkeye, we lost Thor. And then it was revealed right at the end of the episode, well not right at the end, close to the end, that Hank Pym was behind it. Because his daughter Hope got killed in duty. Right? She died on the cover, right? Or something like that. She was working for S.H.I.E.L.D. Hank wanted revenge and started killing all the Avengers. He killed Hulk brutally. Like, he made his heart, like, get bigger and then he just blew up. Like, that, that, that was probably, like, the most gruesome, like, thing we've seen in the show so far. We also got a bit of Loki in there, a bit of Sif, because, you know, Thor's death made them come down to Mid Midgard. And then Loki basically was like, yeah, I'm running shit now. And then at the end of the episode, Nick Fury went down to where Steve was in ice. And then he said, welcome back, Captain. And then Captain Marvel came from the behind Nick Fury. And then that's how it ended. So maybe they'll come back to that storyline. I feel like they've set up a couple of other storylines. Episode 2 definitely set up something with Ego and Peter. But yeah, this episode, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means about Doctor Strange losing his heart. Maybe, maybe he legit just loses his heart and maybe he just gets corrupted somehow. Maybe Dormammu takes him over. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. I just rewatched Doctor Strange too, that's pretty cool. But yeah, let's stop doolallying around and get right into the fucking episode. It's Jeffrey Wright, Benedict Cumberbatch. You know, okay. I was about to say, is he, is he doing the voice? Ma Rachel McAdams? Yeah, what? Tilda, oh shit. Also, uh, Michael Douglas was in last episode too. I was like saying, like he did sound like him. I was thinking that. We have watched how one moment I like, I, was that a thing in every episode so far? Pulled it out of the dryer. Where <gasps> you? Oh, lost his heart. She dies. I suspect we can do a little better than that. Hmm. Just get straight to the heart of it. But the reason he crashed was because he was looking away. You performed a radical hemispherectomy. <laughs> Damn it! Oh. oh, they debated us there. Behind you! The same exact thing happened. What? Come on, that's horse shit, dude. He's barely injured. In this universe, Stephen Strange didn't lose his hands. Strange sought answers across the world. Manipulation and alteration of timelines. This is cool. Like, this is weird because I literally just watched Doctor Strange. Stephen Strange stood tall. Against Dormammu. Oh, shit. Dormammu? I've come to I've bargain. Come to bargain. So the same things happen. Well, I'm going to start the kettle. I suggest you join me before you do something reckless. Judging by the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, I think Strange is pretty reckless. Unless it isn't. It's Mephisto, dude! <laughs> oh. I, uh, I think I might have just had a mild cardiac event. You said it. You have to do it now. Only if you're by my side. He's going to be stuck in a loop, isn't he? Like, he's going to try and, like... Fix it, but he can't. Did he just forget the car hit him from behind? Like, what just happened? Not again. No! Christine! Go back again. The kid trying to change it might fuck up something, though. Like, he'll never become Doctor Strange, would he? Well, I mean, he would, but because he still always is Doctor Strange. Hey, did you see that? What, Joe, in the oh, fucking reflection? Yeah, no matter what, she has to die, right? No. What the fuck just happened there? Did she just have a heart attack? And then there's just a random guy with a gun. You can't change the flow of time like that, not properly. Like, it has to... Oh, and then he never comes. Including the death of one Dr. Christine Palmer. Maybe I should drive. You're the only... Car's coming. Does it change because she's driving? No. What if one of these times though he died though? Like he actually did die. Wouldn't he be fucked? Oh. The ancient one. 
Why are you here? To help you. Help me bring her back. I'm sorry, but I can't. Absolute. Unchangeable. Like a fixed point. If you erase her death, you never start your journey. Yeah, but I thought that that's not the, how the rules of time apply in the MCU. Right? The end game kind of established that, didn't it? You cannot save her. <sighs> Watch me. What the fuck? Did you kill him? Uh, excuse me. Look! I'm looking for the last library of Cagliostro. <laughs> Hello. He's got you know, red and blue eyes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Quite the welcome. Oh, fair enough. Well, if there's more though, you didn't think about that, you silly shit. I come here for Sorcerer Cagliostro. Please tell me you're not Cagliostro. <laughs> the name's Obeng. Is Cagliostro like a like another version of Dormammu, kind of? Like just this ancient threat that's in the darkness. The lost books. My God. Time manipulation. Bingo. Here that looks like some fucking devil shit. Wait, is it, wait, is that the Hydra thing from the, the episode one? Uh. You fucking idiot, Strange. God damn it. What happened? Powers are not meant for. A man does not suffer like this for his own glory. If they won't surrender their power, I'll take it. I fucking know. That, he looks like a darker version of himself. Like, what the fuck? More. Oh, it's gonna corrupt his mind. Holy shit. Oh, Mephisto! I think that was like a little, like, Easter egg there. Like, oh, you know. Besides, I doubt he'd listen. Hello? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe the watch will intervene at some point. Maybe that, that could be interesting. Jesus Christ, strange. Hello again. And goodbye. Oh, Jesus. That's gonna fuck him up. You know he just looks like a darker version of himself. You use magic to remain frozen for centuries. You're only half a man, living half a life. He wasn't even the only Doctor Strange in this universe. What the fuck? Um, you're right. Enough living in the past for one evening. Okay. So the one we've gone time traveling with is the bad one, and this is still the good one. Oh no. Ancient one? Just think of me as an echo. Huh. Then who's causing this? Well, you are. You are. I drew upon the power of the dark dimension to split the timeline. Ah, okay. To split you. Exceedingly dangerous, actually. And now <laughs> I have an evil twin? More like misguided. I mean, if he's misguided, though, like, surely you can... You could probably, like, reason with him? Do you want to stop him? I, I think I have to. How would you find him? He'll find us. <laughs> so, I mean, this basically confirms that, like, Strange is... He's, he's reckless, you know? He's not... It, it is what it is. There the you are. Is, what am I? When are you? Oh. For we are one and the same. Oh! It's Mephisto, dude. Don't you dare lie to me! I am you! He can't control his powers. I spent centuries, sacrificed everything. If we can. Ooh. You don't believe it's possible. Playing his theme music. This is arrogance. This is our need to fix everything. It's what drove us to study the mystic arts in the first place. Ah, okay. That ties into Spider-Man then. He wants to fix Peter's life. Your marbles are long gone. <laughs> it's kind of like fucking smog. <sighs> What the fuck was that? Her. <laughs> Oof, that protection spell's gonna wear off. What is that? Earthworms? What the fuck? Strange, strange is powerful as fuck. Wait, what? Oh, the capes are fighting. <laughs> protection spell! It's gonna, yeah, it's coming off. It's like ripping off. Oh no! Are they back in the cave now? Oh, that was cool. Is that the Witcher? Uh, the, the Watcher? The Witcher? What the, what the fuck? Is he in hell? We can be together again. No. You're not her. Mm-hmm. 
Oh no! Oh no! What the fuck? The eyes gone turned red? What is that? The visuals here are pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> love, how, love how quick she just changed back. What the fuck? Look at that visual. Holy shit. Is that a mirror dimension? The fuck? Ooh! This is interesting. No! I didn't mean for this to happen! Oh no, what? So he just, that's it, he just dies? He's just stuck in like a mirror dimension? What did you do? Oh. Oof. And he's just stuck in there by himself forever? Jesus. What the fuck? That's kind of like a terrifying ending. Holy shit. Jesus. That was a... Uh... I mean, I didn't expect the episode to be... Like that. Jesus, that, that, that's what could happen if Doctor Strange lost Christine instead. But why did she have to die though? Couldn't she have just been hurt in the accident, but she could have healed and then he would have just lost his hands anyway? I will, I will say though, the visuals for this episode were kind of, kind of uh, pretty good. Like, seeing like, Strange versus Strange, Evil Strange versus Good Strange was pretty cool. But the shot of him like, doing that, and then stopping like the dimension, like closing in on him. So now we should, is it, it looks like he's in like the mirror dimension, like just stuck in like a small little bubble. Forever, but I mean, I guess it wouldn't be forever, because how's he going to eat? You'll die. But I guess he's got the eye, right? So he could probably just... Can't he reverse time? I guess probably not. I wonder if this applies to Iron Man in any way. Because Iron Man snaps his fingers in Endgame, right? Then he dies. But the time stone is still there, so couldn't Strange just pick it up, put it in, and then reverse time on Iron Man? Or would that cause something to happen? Is, is Iron Man's death an absolute point in time that needs to happen? Is that, is that how they're writing around that? I, 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 I assume so. It makes sense. Like, it needs to happen. If you reverse it, like, Thanos comes back or something like that. Also, did, didn't the eye get eye of uh, Agamotto? Didn't that get destroyed in Infinity War? Are you telling me Christine's death caused... A whole universe just to fucking close in on itself. Wong's dead, dude. They killed Wong. So after all that with Dormammu, the, the universe just closes in on itself. And the Watcher intervened. He actually inter... Well, he didn't intervene, but he, like... He showed himself. You know? Which is, I think is interesting, honestly. Maybe later on, that maybe in, like... The finale, maybe he comes in to save the day. Cool, like, they got Benedict to voice Strange um, in this episode. Two versions of him. I, I, I'm also curious, when he was, like, consuming all them, like, monsters and shit, I wonder if that was, like, because he, he kind of turned into, like, a devil, kind of. I wonder if that was a little least of Egg to Mephisto. Like, it could have been, but it, it looked very similar to Mephisto. Marvel's Kevin Feige in awe by dark Doctor Strange ending. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty dark way to end an episode, honestly. Yeah. Speaking of which, like, speaking of Marvel, like, as a whole, Shang-Chi's coming out tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Do you think they'll ever do it? Do you think they'll ever actually do it? When they actually finally do it, we won't believe it. Now a lot of people are thinking like, you know, because the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer was saying Doctor Strange in that movie isn't Doctor Strange. And I'm like, nah, I think he is Doctor Strange. It's just, I mean, it was kind of like what it was in this episode. He's just reckless and like, he wants to fix everything. So obviously in No Way Home, he wants to fix Peter's issue. Because that's just how Doctor Strange is. I don't think he is related to Mephisto. He, I, I, when I watched the trailer, I was like, he's, he's kind of like, did not like Doctor Strange a little bit. But when you remember... Like, Doctor Strange himself, and, you know, even this episode, it perfectly explains, like, why he'd do that. Because he just wants to fix everything. And to be fair, was it really Doctor Strange's fault that the multiverse is happening? 
It's more like it's Peter's, right? Because Peter was speaking during the spell, so he fucked it up. Did he Did he say in the trailer we've tampered with space time? Or maybe he just wanted to start the multiverse. Maybe you know, maybe he knew what us fans wanted, and was like, you know what, fuck it. I do think though the Watcher kind of looks weird when he's not in like the shadows, right? Like his head's fucking massive. I kind of liked how Benedict did the like voice. I wonder if they probably like modulated it a little bit to make it sound a bit more darker and they probably edited the voice a little to make it sound more like demonic but i like what he did with it because he kind of sounded like he because he did a smog in the hobbit film right smog 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 um it kind of gave me uh memories of that or like just it, I, it was reminiscent of that should i say i don't know what height what what can i say that's a good episode because <laughs> i mean it, it really wasn't in terms of like what happened in it but I guess it was good, you know, I like, like I said, I like the, um, I felt like the animation was a little bit better in this episode, not gonna lie. Maybe they've, maybe they've improved on it later on in the season. I think I just vibed better with it compared to, like, the past couple of episodes. Like, the animation looks, like, it's alright, it's not terrible, but it's like, it's not, a, like, really that good either. I think it's only good for when they do like visual effects with what they did with this episode. Like the action scenes, it looks good. But when it's like static and still, like yet again, it's just, it's just weird. Yeah, that was a good episode. Dark, kind of a brutal ending too, if you think about it. Just everyone just fucking sucked up into nothing. And it's just stuck there forever in a tiny little bubble. I find it it's very weird though that this happened as <laughs> I literally watched Doctor Strange earlier this week, so it's it's just weird that they showed Doctor Strange again with Don Mami and all that. Decent but dark episode. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta and farewell.